Do you annoy your friends, family, and roommates with your ocarina practice? Go from this... ...to this. With a nifty product called Mr. Mute. And before we begin, make sure you're subscribed for more Ocarina content, watch to the end of the video, and leave a like if you enjoy it. Let's get started with the magic of Mr. Mute. What is Mr. Mute? Mr. Mute is a mouthpiece attachment for your single chamber ocarina that reduces its volume. Mr. Mute was designed by Japanese jazz ocarinist and one of my biggest inspirations, Milt. And another Japanese ocarinist, Itsuki Shion, appears to be the manager for the business. But in short, Mr. Mute allows you to play very quietly while using natural breath pressure that you normally use while practicing. This is a major feat of engineering. Also, Mr. Mute is on Amazon for $50. And you all will be lucky enough to have English instructions. I got it before they had English instructions, so I had to figure it out myself. Thankfully, I speak Japanese, so it wasn't that difficult to decipher. I have an affiliate link in the description. Shopping through my links helps support the channel, but otherwise, back to the video. But how does Mr. Mute work? If you blow air very softly into an ocarina, you get something called overtones. Compare this normal scale to the overtone scale. That was tough. Overtones are extremely quiet yet in tune versions of the same notes on your ocarina. As I just demonstrated, you can play overtones without using something like Mr. Mute on your ocarina, but it requires very, very precise breath control and poses two problems. First of all, it's extremely difficult. To get overtones on this ocarina, I had to blow so softly that I was practically not blowing at all. For functional practice, overtones are kind of useless because they're so difficult to do. The second issue with overtones for practice is that the breath pressure is not accurate to how you'd actually play. You have to blow really softly to achieve overtones, and that's not how you play an ocarina. If your ocarina requires medium to high breath pressure, blowing with overtones will not reflect that breath pressure, and you'll probably mess up in performance if you practice that way. Mr. Mute allows you to play overtones naturally by restricting your airflow, and with some tweaking using the in-box settings and accessories, you can also play these overtones with a natural breath curve for quiet practice that's easy and fully effective. So how do you use Mr. Mute? In the box, there are two mouthpieces pieces, the main body, an adapter for larger or less round ocarina mouthpieces, and several little inserts for adjusting the airflow. Mr. Mute has two modes of operation, simple and detailed. In simple mode, you simply attach the mouthpiece to the main body with no inserts. Just pop that in. It's also worth noting that for simple mode, you probably want the mouthpiece completely covering the whole of the body. Twist it from here to here. Attach it to your ocarina, and this will reduce your volume by about 50%, but it also put you out of tune by about half step or a whole step. As you can hear, it makes you a little bit flat, but it does reduce your volume significantly. This is the same function as by blowing less air into an ocarina, you can play flat notes. Just like that, going from C to B natural while using the fingering for a C and less breath pressure. One more note, while I was using the red mouthpiece, the blue mouthpiece is better for simple mode, as it allows more air into Mr. Mute. Simple mode is quite easy to use, but I find two issues with it. First, simple mode is not a true mute, given that it's only about 50% quieter. Second, you'll be out of tune by about a half step flat. This will make practicing to a backing track or with other musicians really difficult because you won't be in tune. You will have a consistent tuning, but not the right one. My Alto C Ocarina will become an Alto B Ocarina. That said, if you only need a 50% reduction and don't mind being in a slightly different key, Simple Mode works wonders at getting a practice just that little bit quieter to not annoy somebody, while still letting you listen to full-ish sound. However, the lack of full muting and the lack of proper tuning in Simple Mode are alleviated in Detail Mode. Detail Mode offers a 90% reduction in volume without sacrificing your tuning. That said, Detail Mode is kind of difficult to set up and requires a lot of tweaks. It's quite difficult to get just right for the very first time. Instead of the very simple setup of simple mode, you'll additionally be using one of the plastic inserts, as well as manually adjusting your mouthpiece. 
The plastic inserts vary in size. The smaller the insert, the less air is let through to your ocarina. The mouthpieces also come in two sizes. The blue mouthpiece allows more air in and thus requires you to use less breath, and the red mouthpiece lets less air in, thus requiring you to use more breath to play Mr. Mute properly. As I've mentioned, the airflow of the mouthpiece can be precision adjusted by rotating it on the body. But this hole you're adjusting for is to allow air to escape. So for the mouthpiece, the larger the hole, the more air escapes and the more you need to blow for Mr. Mute, and the smaller the hole, the less air escapes, the more air goes into the ocarina, and the less you need to blow into Mr. Mute. Also, each of the mouthpieces have two different sides. There's a front side with a larger hole, and a back side with a smaller hole. The back side will release less air than the front side. So you can also switch to the back side for even more fine tune adjustments. That's it for all the components. And to put everything together, you place an insert into the mouthpiece like so. Then you insert the mouthpiece into the body. And from here, you can make your precision adjustments with the mouthpiece. Now to properly set up detailed mode for yourself, first get a baseline of what your breath pressure feels like for your ocarina. Different ocarinas require different breath pressure. Therefore, to get the most out of Mr. Mute, you will need to adjust it on an ocarina to ocarina basis. But once you know how it works, it's pretty easy to make those modifications. So play a couple scales, play a couple songs, and really understand what your breath pressure feels like in your muscles. If your ocarina requires you to breathe more powerfully and use more breath pressure, you'll want to adjust your Mr. Mute to restrict airflow more. If your ocarina requires less air and use softer breath pressure, you'll want Mr. Mute to let more air into your ocarina. Now that you've established how your breath pressure feels in your embouchure, your, your muscles of the mouth, I'd recommend working backwards, starting with less air going into your ocarina. So use the smallest insert, which I think is the yellow one, with the red mouthpiece, and leave the air escape hole wide open. Compare the breath pressure that you use to get the overtones, to the breath pressure that you naturally use. I had to use more air for the overtones than I did for the breath pressure, so I'll let more air in next time. So let's use the same insert, but almost close the air escape hole. I can make that work, but it felt like I was using too much air again. So now let's size up to a larger insert. I'm going to skip up a few sizes to the little pink insert. It's the second largest hole. So we're using the red mouthpiece, the pink insert, set to let only a little bit of air out through the release hole. I think we're getting close to the right setting, but rather than using the smaller release of the mouthpiece, we'll be using the larger one, and this will be on the same horizontal setting. Okay, I think we found our right settings for this ocarina. Here's one additional very important note. If you overblow, you will not get overtones. Here I am blowing normally through Mr. Mute to get an overtone on the low C. Now here's what happens if I blow too much. You'll get extremely flat air coming out. This is basically simple mode gone wrong. So as you're testing different settings on Mr. Mute, always start by underblowing what feels natural so you can make sure you find the overtones properly, then slowly work up to natural breath pressure. If in that working up stage you break the overtone, use different settings. Restrict more air, whether that's a smaller insert adjusting the mouthpiece or using the smaller red mouthpiece instead of the blue one. Once you found a setting that works with your natural breath pressure, you will need to repeat this process for every other ocarina that you use it on. That said, if you found the insert and setting that matches your personal airflow preference, chances are you probably don't need to adjust as much for other ocarinas. If you're the type of person who likes medium to high breath pressure ocarinas, then the setting that you have on Mr. Mute will work on other medium to high breath pressure ocarinas. You might just need to twist the mouthpiece a little bit to get it just right. Also on some ocarinas, especially plastic ocarinas with flatter mouthpieces like the Knight by Noble, Mr. Mute does not fit. However, there's a really handy rubber adapter included in the package. It's flexible, so it'll wrap around the mouthpiece of your given ocarina, just like so. Then insert the body of Mr. Mute on top. Voila, you have a very long but very useful mute for your plastic ocarina with a flat mouthpiece. So 
So one final word on using Mr. Mute. It is okay to be frustrated with the process. It is tedious and it does take some time to get the right setting for you. Mr. Mute is not easy to set up. And even if you set it up properly, chances are your high notes are still gonna be a little airy, especially if you release more air through the mouthpiece. Furthermore, while Mr. Mute does allow you to play more naturally while getting quiet overtones, you do still need to be a little precise in your breath pressure. Much, much less precise than playing overtones raw without Mr. Mute, but still a lot more precise than playing naturally. That said, if you have your Mr. Mute set up really well, this is great practice to play in tune without being a little sharp or a little flat. But is Mr. Mute for you? If you have a space where you can play naturally without bothering anyone, you probably don't need it. However, if you live with other people, travel frequently with your ocarinas, or simply simply want an additional breath pressure practice tool, I think Mr. Mute can be an amazing purchase. Realistically, I would say the setup will take you at least 15 to 30 minutes to get right. But if you need help with setup, just refer to this video or another video made by my good friend, Mark Chan. He goes more in depth into explaining how the physics work. And while it's not easy to set up Mr. Mute, once you do have it set up, it is so, so nice to have, to have the option to play quietly. And if you're watching this video because there's an ocarinist in your life who you wanna make play quieter, this could be a great passive aggressive gift for them. In fact, if you wanna buy any gift for that ocarinist in your life, look no further than my ocarina gift guide for 2022. If you wanna buy Mr. Mute, consider using the affiliate link in the description to help support the channel. Otherwise, thanks for watching. Leave a like, subscribe for more, leave a comment if you have any questions, watch that video next, and I'll see you next time. Happy tootin'.